This video is sponsored by the Overwatch League. Hey guys, it's Bro Uwak, and this is a very exciting video because there is so much free content and cosmetic items to learn about within this video. Stuff like a free Winston skin, free Pirate Reaper skin, and over 30 Overwatch League skins that you could get in the next couple of weeks. So first, let's talk about this free Winston skin and the up and coming Halloween event, Junk and Sand Revenge, Wrath of the Bride. So if you guys haven't heard the news, the newly reimagined Halloween event, Junk and Sand Revenge, is gonna be dropping on October 25th, and it's gonna be going for two whole weeks instead of the normal three, ending on November 9th. Now I won't go into too much details talking about what we already know about the Halloween event, but rather the new cosmetic items that you'll be able to unlock simply by completing free challenges in Overwatch 2. Things like a brand new Halloween name card or a jack-o'-lantern weapon charm, which I'm guessing is gonna look exactly like Reaper's head, just like in weapon charm form, battle pass XP, and other Halloween cosmetic items. But along with all that, we're also gonna be getting new legendary skins that includes the Witch Kuriko skin, this torture loving Junker Queen skin, and also the free Pirate Reaper skin that everyone's gonna be able to get due to the fact that Overwatch's 2 launch was very botched and this is their way of trying to apologize and say sorry. Now one thing that a lot of people might be wondering about is what about to the previous Halloween skins like Witch Mercy or Cthulhu Zenyatta or even the Lucio Halloween skin and all the previous Halloween skins will be returning and made available through purchase through Overwatch 2 coins but they're also going to be made available in Halloween bundles. These are available in the shop, and one bundle includes the Witch Mercy skin, Cthulhu Zenyatta, and the Halloween Lucio skin, made available for 36 Overwatch 2 coins. But now quickly shifting over to the gameplay aspect of the Halloween event, this of course is celebrating Junkenstein not only being a mad scientist, but also being a sensual lover. He got married to Sombra out of all people. Never would I have ever thought that they would have some sort of relationship, but here we are in in the Wrath of the Bride, which is the newly reimagined part of Junkenstein's Revenge. This is gonna be a new co-op mission, very similar to how Junkenstein's Revenge was. If you remember, it featured a storyline featuring Soldier 76, Cole Cassidy, Anna, and Hanzo, but now in the Wrath of the Bride, it's gonna feature four other heroes, which is Swordjern, Kuriko, the Junker Queen, and Ash, where the Bride of Junkenstein, Sombra, is the main villain of this storyline. Now, of course, we'll find out more about this game mode and how it plays, how we interact with the enemy, what Somber has to do with the storyline more when the actual game mode drops with the event again on October 25th. Now the final thing that comes with the Halloween event alongside the free Pirate Reaper skin, you're gonna get a chance to get this free Werewolf Winston skin. Now, I know what you're thinking, wait, isn't that already in the game? Yeah. <laughs> It is. Look, the reason why they're including this free Werewolf Winston skin is for two reasons. One, to give people that haven't played Overwatch 1 a chance to get their Werewolf skin, or people that just haven't even gotten this Werewolf skin, but more importantly, to support the streamers and the content creators like your boy on Twitch, because this is gonna be another Twitch drop. To get this free Winston skin, all you gotta do is watch any streamer streaming in the Overwatch 2 category from now up until November 1st, 11 a.m. PSD, and you gotta watch a total of two hours to get the Werewolf Winston spray and watch a total of four hours to get the Werewolf Winston skin. And as always, your boy Bro Uwak is going to be streaming on Twitch, so go get me a follow on Twitch and get your free skin. And if you already have this skin, then congratulations, you don't got to spend money on these skin prices in Overwatch 2. <laughs> and again, I know people will be upset at the fact that they're making a free skin that was already technically kind of for free in Overwatch 1 free again, but I will give them credit for trying to give free content to players that have never got to experience Overwatch 1 and also trying to support me, us, the content creators of Overwatch. And I can't wait to see what other new ways that they try to give free content to us because they've been giving a lot of free content to us, which includes the opportunity of you getting over 30 Overwatch League skins for free just by simply watching the Overwatch League Grand Finals Tournament. This week-long tournament is going to be taking place from October 30th through November 4th, where Overwatch League teams will be duking it out for a chance to be crowned the Season 5 Overwatch League Grand Champions! And you the fans at home can watch all week, where if you watch a total of 30 hours before the Overwatch League Grand Finals, then you can unlock 32 heroes home and away Overwatch League skins, along with other cosmetic items like player icons, the Lucio dance emote, and 100 Overwatch League tokens. Now these drops will be distributed every 3 hours, and the schedule will be on the screen right here, but just to give you an example, if you watch 3 hours, you'll get Tracers, Genjis, and Bastion's Overwatch League skins, and the 
Grand Finals 1 Sprite. But just to make things even more spicy, if you watch on the day of the Grand Finals, November 4th, if you watch a total of two hours, you get the Sojourn, Junker Queen, and Kuriko Overwatch League Home and Away skin, along with the Overwatch League Grand Finals spray, and this fan-made player card which features Tracer's pistols. And of course, the schedule and the amount of hours that you need to unlock these cosmetic items will be on the screen as well. However, unlike the free Winston skin, this is going to be a YouTube reward program exclusive to the Overwatch League's YouTube channel. And all you got to do is link your Blizzard account with your YouTube account and you should be good to go. So as you can tell, there's lots of free content for every type of Overwatch fan. I mean, if you're a fan of the Overwatch League, you're definitely going to be eating next week because you get the Grand Finals tournament and so many home and away skins for free. But if you just like simply playing the game, then there's also the free Winston skin that you get from Twitch, but also just the Halloween event. Like you get a free PVE newly reimagined Junkenstein's Revenge game mode. Like it's going to be so fun just to see more lore come into the game, even though it's not really like traditional, like canon Overwatch lore, but it's still lore. But there is one other thing that I haven't talked about yet, and this is exclusive insider information about a brand new hero entering in Overwatch 2. Now, my sources tell me that when the Halloween event drops, there's going to be a brand new hero that's going to be this robot that transforms into a turret and his name is Bastion. <laughs> So obviously Bastion's not a brand new hero, but Bastion's been missing from the game for a couple of weeks now because of the ultimate bug. If you guys don't remember, you were able just to use your artillery strike like an infinite amount and just absolutely bomb raid the enemy team. They of course took him out, rightfully so, and so many people have started to enjoy Overwatch once again, but he has to come back because they finally fixed him along with Torbjorn coming back into competitive, and uh, it's rumored that he will be releasing with the Halloween event because, I mean, <laughs> hey, how long does it take to fix a Bastion, man? All you gotta do is update his drivers, give him the newest version of Windows, and try to clear all the other viruses that come with the newest version of Windows, and he's good to go. And <laughs> hopefully, he will be back on November 25th with the Halloween event, because, hey, you know, it's never fun to have your favorite hero missing in Overwatch. All three of you guys can finally rejoice. <laughs> but that seems to be all the new things that's gonna be coming into Overwatch for the next couple of weeks. And as always, if you're gonna be getting any of the drops, whether it's with the Twitch drops, then make sure you link your Twitch account with your Blizzard account, and if you're going to be getting any of the Overwatch League goodies, be sure to link your YouTube account with your Blizzard account. It's really easy. I'm pretty sure I already showed it on the screen. Now, one last thing that I will mention before I end the video is that if you are going to the Overwatch League Grand Finals in Anaheim, California, I will be going there. I will be filming a vlog and also be making TikTok content and whatnot. So if you see me, then I might ask you to be in like some sort of content. Maybe. I don't know. I might also be nervous because I'm not really good around people because, well, I, I mean, my job job is literally requiring me just to sit in front of a computer and talk by myself and I've grown very accustomed to just being by myself most of the time. <laughs> but hopefully I get to see you there and if you do see me then come say hi because I don't bite. But anyway guys, until then, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch 2 videos to come and bye.